What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if Gale will die in Scream 5 or Scream 2022. I know I, I normally say uh, both of those names. So this was something I wanted to do. I want to actually even maybe bring up Dewey and uh, Sydney in future videos if you guys do like this uh, kind of thing. But when it comes to Gale, there's just something about the situation where I feel like she, it, her time could be coming. I'm going to go over some of the reasons, and I'm going to use maybe a, an absolutely terrible example uh, you know, as like a comparison for what could be done. So, a, again, I, I think that, you know, obviously, I think in any Scream movie, the, the general idea is that no character is safe. Obviously, Sydney, I think, is generally more safe uh, than others. But you know what? Especially in a film like this, this newest one, I truly believe none of the original case so those three okay Dewey Gale and Sydney I don't think any of them are 100% safe I still think Sydney would be the most safe but it would be a bold move it would be something that other franchises and films have tried to do some successful some very very unsuccessful over the past let's say five or so years of you know eliminating legacy characters Star Wars is one of the best examples of how not to do it I think right and so how does this bring me to Gale well when I look at the three of them okay I really to be honest with you I don't know why Gale just stands out to me I feel like it's because if I'm trying to put it into words I feel like it's because Dewey or even like David Arquette like he's got such a connection to these Scream movies and he's such a likable character he's you know obviously I mean all of these have been around since the beginning so I was gonna say obviously he's been around since the beginning but just something about him I feel like it will always kind of survive or like he always kind of needs to survive even if you want to go with the silly kind of idea that I don't necessarily think it's silly but maybe the fact that like it's persisted for so long that like, you know, could he be like the third killer in like all of these films, right? Many people, many movies, actually all of the movies have always, I think purposely left the door open that like, you know what? If you want to make a case for Dewey, you're probably wrong, but conspiracies like this are fun and theories like this are fun in these kind of movies. And so it's possible. So I think you couple that with the fact that, I mean, he is such a, like a dot, like he loves these films. I would argue he loves these films more than Courtney Cox and, and Nev Campbell. I really would uh, I, I would argue that. But, you know, you look at that and you say, okay, well, maybe he's safe for that reason. Obviously, you know, having a position of power. I mean, Gail has a position of power in a way, but Dewey, obviously, with the police and all that kind of stuff. So you look at that. Then you look at Sydney, and, I mean, it's kind of obvious why one would, uh, one would think Sydney is kind of safe. Gail and Courtney Cox. So Courtney Cox is the oldest by actually quite a bit of this group. Okay, she's in her mid 50s. And I'm not necessarily saying that means anything. We've seen even Halloween, right? The 2018 Halloween that now is going to have even, you know, two more. And Jamie Lee Curtis, I mean, she's older, right? I think she was like 58, 59 when she was filming that one. And then obviously she's she's 61 right now. She's got this, you know, the newest one coming out next year and then the one after. So I'm not saying it's impossible that older, you know, leads can't you know still participate right even if you look at Nev Campbell I would actually use that same argument against myself and say well you know that because that could be an argument for getting rid of Nev Campbell because you know she's 47 maybe you don't want you know do you want somebody in their 50s event if you keep these movies going and you keep wanting her to come back you know eventually she's going to get older right and but you, again you look at Jamie Lee Curtis as, as probably the best example of how it could be done in a good way I guess I'm using that in a negative way for Courtney Cox where it's like, okay, if you're going to do it, and that, that's kind of my point of this. Will she die? Okay, will Gail die? I think she's got, out of the three, the highest probability of dying. I feel like her relationship with Sydney, obviously having been gone through so much over the you know four movies, that would be quite a impact. Obviously, with Dewey, that would be an enormous... So it would be like an emo... Obviously, it would be an emotional thing, even though I would go so far to say, and I don't think this is uh, actually that far of a stretch, that she's probably the least likable of the three, or at least has like the smallest fan base. I, I would, I think that's fair, right? I think I would, I personally think Sydney is, is the best. Maybe some people think Dewey is, but I mean, it's, it's probably a fight between those for most people. And then Gail comes in uh, last. And again, an actress that is getting older. So you continue to have these movies. Well, then she's going to be in her sixties. She's never been the main, I mean, she's a very important part of these movies, but she's not literally the driving force. 
I've always said that Sydney, you know, obviously Sydney is, uh, you know, again, the movies try to make it. I think what we'll start to see with this movie is that we're going to start to try to step away a little bit from Sydney, right? Happened in four, it's probably going to happen in this one, where you're going to start taking some steps back because ultimately, yeah, I mean, I would argue Sydney is a, a, a big part and the biggest part besides Ghostface of Scream, but in reality, if you want Scream to last, and even the TV show tried to prove it, is that Ghostface is the only thing that you need for Scream to live. You don't necessarily need Sydney. However, the TV show sucked for the most part. I actually, I actually didn't mind it all that much. I would say the general reception to the TV show sucked. Okay, so that you know maybe they take that into consideration. But I feel like, and, and so maybe the question now to to kind of have the second half of the video or to end it is, well, like why would you do it? Well. I do feel like in a movie like this, and again, we've seen other examples of films doing this, okay? It does make sense to start to maybe trim the, the original cast down a bit. My example, okay, is Pirates of the Caribbean. Could be a terrible example. You may not agree with it. Totally cool, but let me just say my piece here. In Pirates 5, Dead Men Tell No Tales, the first trailer... I had a gut feeling. I've never had this feeling, I would say, with anything before like this, where the way that trailer was shot, I said, Barbosa's dying. Okay, now if you guys know who Pirates, you guys know Barbosa, Jeffrey Rush's character, phenomenal, phenomenal. But I thought he was going to die. I actually made a video predicting it that day, the day of the very, very first trailer, and I was right. So spoilers for the ending of Pirates 5. He dies. And... I think we'll get a little bit of information from the trailer. Obviously, the trailer is not going to show anything major, but there was just a way that that trailer kind of portrayed his character where I was like, you know what? There was kind of like a dark omen almost on him where you kind of feel like maybe he's going to have a really significant part. Maybe they're doing that on purpose to kind of say farewell to him. And now, okay, we literally have zero, like not a single thing for this new Scream movie. I understand that. We don't have a trailer maybe painting Gale in an ominous way. Or maybe, again, maybe the trailer comes out and it really looks like it's the end of the road for Sydney or it's the end of the road for Dewey. I mean, we don't know until we see that trailer. But there's just something... I don't know, that I, I sense about this movie where it's like if you're going to follow what some other films have done in the past, you have the core three, okay? And I feel like now is probably – you could argue four was probably the time too. You could have done it at four. But I think now is most likely the time – where this is that new jump. And if this movie does do good, now again, it's all kind of depending on that because, I mean, 4 was supposed to be a, you know, a trilogy as well, 4, 5, 6. So they could have, you could have said, well, maybe they were going to start eliminating characters uh, in that world, in Wes Craven's world. If they did a 5 and 6, maybe they could have eliminated like one per movie, like in 5 or, or then Sydney dies in 6 or whatever. Where we are now, again, it's obviously very dependent on if they want to keep these going. I assume they will keep these going. Again, the question will be, probably the biggest question at the end of this movie would be, would, if any of the OG characters survive it, would they be in the next Scream 6 or, you know, whatever the new Scream movie uh, after this would be? Again, that's, that's, that's assuming that this movie does well enough and everybody's happy and they do make another one. But obviously, I think it is pretty obvious that is the plan. But again, you have a new generation, a new cast, and it's starting, I would say, not to get ridiculous, but we're really seeing that generational jump that's quite big. I mean, in Scream 4... You know, you know, Sydney or like, you know, Nev Campbell was like 35, 36. You know, David Arquette's just a few years older than that, but then Courtney Cox is even older. So Courtney Cox was in her mid 40s. Uh, you know, Nev Campbell was in her mid 30s. But then you have the new cast that's like 20, 21, 22, and that, you know, in that range that they were in, the original, I mean, at least Nev Campbell was back in the original Scream. Okay. Now you have it here where you're doing the same thing again, but now you've you've jumped even more. You know what I mean? So now Nev Campbell's in her mid-40s, 47. David Arquette's almost 50. Courtney Cox is, what, 57, 56? So she's, you know, there. there's a huge, at this point, you know, even between Nev Campbell and the, the new cast, there's like a 20, 25-year difference. And then you look at Courtney Cox, there's a 35-year difference. So the question is, do you need them? You know what I mean? Do, is that something that you need? Now, again, I've always, I've always said this, and I do want to end this video with this. No matter who goes or who survives, you got to do it justice. So I know I've kind of 
bagged on her in a way where it's like, okay, it's probably her time to go. But the thing is, you better do it with respect. Now, again, I trust these directors. Nev Campbell trusts these directors. A lot of people trust these directors because of how passionate they are. So I do think they'll do it with care. But, you know, that is just something to remember that if any of the, if they kill Sydney off, if they kill Dewey off, if they kill Gale off, or if they kill multiple of them, or just one, whatever, they need to do it, I believe, very, very carefully. Because whenever you do this, it is sometimes necessary. It is sometimes something that you just have to do, or like it can be done really well. But each time is different, and you really do have to respect the characters. Again, Star Wars is the best example of how not to do it. Now, the Han Solo thing, that was fine. I actually thought they did really, really well with him, but then it just, I mean, it just completely got out of control. Obviously, Carrie Fisher, you know, passing off screen, that did not help them in any way. Maybe they could have done her justice. We only really have Luke, who was done about as terror, you know, as ba about as badly as, as humanly can be, right? And there's many, many more examples. Terminator, we can keep going down the line, right? So, that's my thought. I think think it's very very possible she goes but again if she does they better do it with care and respect so guys let me know in the comments below what do you think do you think gail will be killed off in this movie do you think she'll survive let me know i try to do these scream videos at least once a week uh you know we'll just keep this kind of stuff coming obviously if we get new news or if we get anything like a poster like you know set footage anything like that i'll obviously be covering that as well okay make sure you're subscribed bell icon turned on all my social media stuff is in the description below my twitter Twitter, my Discord, my second channel, if you guys want to support me there, would be much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.